It's basically a two hour special that goes from a beach on Earth right out to the beginning of time to the Big Bang. And it does it in one single camera move. That means no cuts, no dissolves, nothing. When you make an animated film, it's a completely different process from normal factual documentary where you go out and you film sequences and you bring them back and you edit them and you have control over, over how you edit the program. With, with an animation film, you, you have to basically edit the film before you film it. Um, for instance, if um, we were to be able to go and film Mars uh, in reality, we would go out there and we'd film as much as we wanted to film, covering all our angles and all our bases. But with an animated film, you can't do that. Every time the virtual camera turns around, it has to create the, the image. So you have to be much more disciplined about what you're going to actually see in the final program. The whole process of making this film starts with basically mapping out a storyboard, making sketches. So that's done with myself, uh, Nigel Henbest, who's the advisor, consultant, uh, who makes sure everything's correct factually, and Jonathan Gibson, who's the visual effects designer, director. And we go from the script, and John just starts making sketches and drawing, and Nigel and I react to those drawings. So we're creating a kind of a, a, a rising spiral of, of stuff, which is, is kind of going up in a, in a sort of helix. Yeah. Uh, and we agree on the camera angles and the kind of shots we're going to have, and he then maps it out for us on storyboards, little pencil drawings. Jonathan really is like the director of photography on a traditional shoot. He's, he's like my cameraman. He tells me what's possible and what we can achieve and shows me and draws the images and says, this is what we can do with the camera. We can turn it around here and this is how we're going to light it. So it's very much as though we're on location talking together about how we're going to cover a sequence, except, of course, it's a virtual sequence and not a real sequence. The danger with making a film like this is, because it's all animation, that you could actually make up any images you like, but that's not what we're doing with this. This is trying to be as rigorous and as accurate as, as possible. So with the help of Nigel, we have created, as best we know, the most accurate picture of all these images we're seeing. Of course, we're taking references from the Hubble Space Telescope, from, from NASA, from all their fabulous imagery of, say, Mars. The next thing we do is actually put those images onto our editing machine and create a timed finished film uh, with arrows to point where the camera is going to move. It is quite liberating because although you're constrained and you know that you can only uh, animate certain things, those things you can animate, unlike the real camera, you can go wherever you want with the virtual camera. You can go round, through, inside, out. The sky's the limit. I suppose for me one of my favourite scenes is a trip to Venus we make. Because uh, in reality if anybody dared to go there they'd be frazzled, burned, crushed, squashed. Um, they wouldn't survive. So the fact that we can go there with the virtual camera and take the audience on what is a roller coaster of a ride, I think is a, a great sequence. In fact, as we track across Venus, there's that Venera probe, which was a Soviet probe, that went down onto the surface of Venus and sent back great imagery, which again we'd been able to extrapolate the information from and base our, our animation on. This was certainly a challenge to take on. Uh, it's a landmark film, nobody's attempted to make this sort of film before. So the chance to actually take on something like that was something I really couldn't turn on.